Welcome to the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, of course, guys, we get into the funny article first. The White House acknowledges a cyber attack to the U.S. Treasury by foreign government. On my main channel, The Crypto Teacher, guys, I did a video today, so make sure you go check it out. Now, guys, we have the Fed meeting the 15th and 16th. What do we know? If you follow me on The Crypto Teacher channel, you know that the markets are always up. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we should be fine and cruising. Now, right now, we see the stock futures are up. But the fact is, guys, when the Fed meets, the market is up. Because why? They don't want the eyes on them. Remember, when the markets are looking good, no one is looking at the Fed. So when the Fed meets, markets are always stable or either sky high. Now, guys, let's get into the market. Now, please make sure you check out the video I did on Friday, and I'll leave the link in the description. I gave you some stocks to actually look at. But because we see that the market is going to be up, and we what we go find is that we find those stocks that were down and try to ride them back up. So, of course, right now, guys, we have a lot of EV stocks that took a little hit. Not your financial advisors, not financial advice. Please do your own research, but they are a good bet. Now, right now, we have... Toyota says it's going to unveil its new electric car and also a 10-minute uh, charging battery. Now, guys, we know the electric vehicles, charging stations are the future. Is it here right now? No, not for the masses, but we know it's the future. You're investing five and 10 years ahead. Just think about all the big companies you wish you would have invested in that you didn't. Nike, Amazon, this is your opportunity to do dig in do your research, and invest because we know for a fact it's coming. This is part of the fourth industrial revolution. So we also had Tesla shutting down models of S and X productions, and basically the shutdown is for, supposed to be for at least 18 days. Now we have BlackRock warns against climate change, guys. The $7 trillion behemoth is warning against Climate change. Why is that, guys? Because we know for a fact that energy is changing. And when you go and invest, I've done plenty of videos on this, even on this channel. So when you're going to invest, invest in renewables because our energy is definitely changing. Everybody's talking about climate change this, climate change that. Remember, Exxon is building a renewables energy site in China, $10 billion. And we know that's part of the Rockefeller heirs. So just like I stated, guys, energy is definitely changing. So when you invest, you're investing five and 10 years from now. Are we still using oil the same way you've been using it? Yes. But you're not investing for right now. You're investing ahead. Now we have Larry Fink says IPO frenzy won't last. Guys, we know this is correct. But the fact is that we have all this liquidity out there. So that's the reason why they can pump DoorDash and Airbnb that we saw last week where their market caps did not make any sense whatsoever. But just like I stated, because we have all this liquidity out there, the Fed keeps cutting the check every Tuesday. I show y'all. So the fact is that's the reason why these stocks keep going up. It's all fake. It's all an illusion. Do not fall for it. Guys, we know we're going to have a big correction, but we know the New World Order stocks, do they correct? Yes, just like in March, they, all the stocks went down, but the New World Order stocks came roaring back as usual. Every single stock market crash, their stocks go right back up. Don't forget about it. And lastly, guys, this article says it's time for Hong Kong to get a U.S. sanctioned busting stock index. But guys, the United States haven't done anything with their stocks. We know our corporations are heavily invested in China. Heavily invested, guys. Don't let any of this fool you. The fact is they haven't done anything with these China or Hong Kong stocks. They're not because they're fully invested over there. I showed you where all of our banks are over there invested. So guys, do not get confused. 
Do not get caught with the fake out of the New World Order. Because remember, everything the New World Order does is already planned out. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to check out the main channel, Crypto Teacher. Like, subscribe, and then also this channel, guys. Like and subscribe. Spread it everywhere. And y'all have a wonderful day. In the last 36 hours, four EV-related SPACs were announced, raising a total of $1.4 billion. To discuss more on the unprecedented year for these blank check companies and investments in electric vehicles, we bring in Omar Kilaf, uh, Innovis co-founder and CEO, who just announced a deal to go public this morning via a SPAC. Uh, Omar, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I guess, uh, first and foremost, <laughs> congrats on, on, uh, on raising the money and, and getting listed. How long has this been in the works and uh, how surprised were you uh, that uh, you raised what you did? No, so we've been working on this in the last uh, four months. I think that's what part of the advantage on working on a SPAC rather than raising money in, in a different way. Um, the SPAC process is quite fast um, and it gives you access to really great investors. So it, there is a great fit between uh, this process and the kind of activity that we're in, in the automotive space where you need to have a lot of cap capital in order to work on programs like the BMW that we're part of and now entering other programs. Uh, so th this was really a good fit for us. And just talk us through a, a bit more exactly what you guys do and, and what LiDAR sensors are. Yeah, sure. So LiDAR is, is a 3D sensor. It allows the car to see the world around it in 3D, which makes it uh, understand the scene much better. Uh, so far, LiDARs were very expensive and big. Uh, Innovi started five years ago to develop a solid-state LiDAR. Um, this, this is the device that I'm holding. It's fairly small, and it's very low cost. Uh, we were selected by BMW uh, for their series production three years ago. Since then, working with them and our T1 partner, Magna International, and now ramping up our high volume manufacturing. That's going to be the first year's production vehicle uh, on ground, uh, conducted and managed by BMW, which is one of the most technical car makers out there. We're very proud to be there. Um, and now working on the next generation uh, that will even get a price point even much lower in order to penetrate even lower class vehicles. So our, our mission is to, is to enable autonomous driving. Hunting for a new PlayStation for Christmas or an Xbox Series Series 10? Good luck. The bots got there first, and that left nothing behind but empty shelves and record high spending. Video game hardware sales are up 58% just last month, driven by Sony and Microsoft launches. That from the market research firm NPD. And if you're still on the hunt, how can you make it happen? <laughs> There's a way.